Edward Snowden, who has been a fugitive from justice for a long time now, is warning people in the United States where he can't come back, beware of open AI. So back in June 2024, OpenAI, which is the company we all know is responsible for ChatGPT, they appointed someone. It is the retired U.S. Army General Paul M. Nakasone. He was overseeing their safety and security. He was in the NSA, right? Yes, he was. Artificial intelligence is always in the front of my mind. How do we take a look at a transformative technology such as AI and ensure that it provides our nation the opportunities that will be uh, resident, not only in our national security, but also in our ability to, to maintain our economy? The issue with this is that it's usually a telltale sign that maybe something is shifting with someone like OpenAI or ChatGPT where we can no longer trust what we're feeding into it because it is being scrutinized by the government. This is Snowden's concern. What he wrote on X, they've gone full mask off. Do not ever trust at OpenAI or its products, ChatGPT, etc. There's only one reason for appointing the NSA Gov director to your board. This is a willful, calculated betrayal of the rights of every person on Earth. You have been warned. What are they saying the purpose is for bringing him in in the first place? It's for safety and security. Yeah. That could be benign. Look, Snowden is a mixed bag, but you can't take this away from him, and that is that he exposed things that the government did, the NSA specifically did, which was not just spying on foreign nationals and foreign governments. What we were building and what we were trying to store uh, to a greater and greater distance uh, every year was history's first permanent record of everyone's life. But the fact that they also spied on Americans and people on American soil, that is not okay. And the fact that we don't know that that's going on and we wouldn't have known but for Snowden, it's something that we really need to think about is that with this use of AI and technology and our cell phones and everything being tracked and all in the name of convenience, yeah, it's all groovy until it's not. It's part of the issue that somebody like him with his expertise, he could only help chat GPT or open AI spy on us even better. It's about the history of motive. Right, and, and the question is, is this just a simple matter of what happens a lot, which is former law enforcement, high level, going to high profile companies because they want the best. Is it just that simple or is there a dual purpose here? Part of the argument too is that here's a guy who's already shown that he will violate the rules. So when Nakasone has already shown that he really doesn't have the ethics, and now he's in the private sector, what does that mean? Why are you saying he has ethical issues? Because Snowden exposed that the NSA was spying on American telecommunication, Americans. The US government had stopped caring about what they should do, and instead were pursuing uh, as aggressively as possible what they could do. The problem is, is that we're trusting them to keep our information private, and with someone like Nakasone in place, that's jeopardized. I know what you're saying, but you know, eventually there's gonna be no way to protect that because the, the sophistication of technology is gonna overtake anything you can do. Anyone who knows anything about technology is gonna be concerned about this. Well, unless you kind of wave the white flag and just say there's not gonna be any privacy in the foreseeable future. There isn't privacy already, it's already gone. But if you think about the information they could collect and why it's potentially damaging, you have to look at it like a search engine, right? The things that we put into Google or Bing or OpenAI, that is some of the most secretive, sensitive information to us personally. These are things we don't share with our families or even with our doctors or with our partners. Some of those things can be really damaging or really warping to someone's perception of you if they are used in the wrong way. Oh, if you saw my Google searches, that's it. Clink, clink. I mean, hang on. <laughs> Damn! It's just research. It's research for my job.